Hey, how's it going? It's TC here. Hope you're all doing very well. Uh, I've got something really exciting that I'd like to show you that I use every single day in my production. If you've got five minutes, stick around, have a look. It is using buttons with screens behind them called Stream Decks that I use to load plugins into Ableton. And uh, I use them pretty much every day in my general workflow as well. And I'd love to show you all about it. So at the moment, I'm using it to control my streaming software. But you can see here, I've got four in front of me on this desk. And uh, I use them all the time. And mainly I use them for Ableton. So with Ableton here, if I switch over, they're running a little bit slowly. but. Uh, Let's say I want to load up like an EQ onto this track here on track one of the MIDI here. I could just go and press the button and there's an EQ straight away, which is super awesome. High pass, low pass. Or if I want to add, sounds like World War Three outside, they're running tests. Uh, so I've got all of this uh, awesome stuff going on. Uh, I can add like uh, all my synths are here. So let's say I want to add massive and I'd press it and it opens a new track, a new track there and it will load. It's running a little bit slowly just because of the uh, streaming software. And I haven't restarted my computer, but you get the general idea. I've got buttons here in front of me that will load plugins. And I want to show you how you can do this too. So if I go over to a main here, you'll be able to see if I load up a plugin, let's just say any old plugin, for instance, I don't need this camera anymore, any old plugin. So uh, we're going to choose, let's just say an EQ, right? I'm going to want this EQ, got it set up how I want. That's awesome. And then I can just uh, group that by hitting Apple G. And then open it up here. I've got my, uh, my user library here. I'm going to just rename it. That's Apple R and uh, call that my EQ. And then I'm going to drag that up into my browser. So I've got my EQ there. And then uh, you won't be able to see this, but on the top bar, I can configure my stream decks here. So configure stream decks, open up this software. And then I, let's say I want my EQ. And we just do it in here, whatever, innit? And you go to open on the left-hand side here, drag it over here. Then I choose my EQ. Everything's running very slowly. Uh, I've got my, oh, what happened there? Okay, we'll just choose it, choose there. And go to my user library, which I've put into my task on the sidebar here and then it should be somewhere in here do 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 just gotta find it where is that user library my eq right there double click that and then, I mean, you can make it look pretty and all that stuff, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then when I hit this button, it loads exactly the same preset there, which is hidden behind the thing. And there's a chat window, which is all very unprofessional. But you get the idea. So with these stream decks, let me just get rid of that. With these stream decks, you can load any plugin you want really quickly. And it's absolutely super awesome. And uh, I use them every single day. So if you like this, then be sure to hit like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing many more of this kind of terrible content. <laughs> and uh, if you find it interesting, if, and if you're going to buy one of these stream decks, please uh, use my affiliate link 
in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. And uh, big up the scene. And let's all make music quickly and awesomely. Nice one, guys. Take it easy.